This video will show you how you can bring data from your dashboards in Power BI directly into PowerPoint. Um, it's a request I've heard very often from many of those using Project Online who are also utilizing uh, Power BI to, uh, to show and report on the various portfolio elements. Um, as you have probably seen before or are using already, um, if you're using Power BI, you would have access to this uh, area in which you can see your different workspaces the personal workspace or the company workspaces from within you can find different dashboards. Um, you'll probably also have a dashboard section where your personal dashboards are available such as this one showing some, some basic info on projects in the portfolio. Now this data is coming from Project Online and this video is not so much about creating or developing these dashboards, it's more on how we can reuse those items directly in PowerPoint. So if we um, navigate away from these dashboards uh, and the Power BI area and instead uh, launch PowerPoint, as I will do now, um, we can start by simply selecting a blank uh, template, the normal one. You could have had a design template uh, as well, obviously. Uh, and from this one, we're going to create our, our portfolio uh, report like this. And we also like it to have um, our date and time, such as this one, so we always know when we actually showed this or created this report. So that's just the basic stuff. Obviously, you can add a lot of more uh, nice looking uh, design elements uh, to make it more corporate uh, as the company you're working for. Now, um, to move ahead, notice on the top of my ribbon, I have something called Power BI Smart Shapes. This is the brand new offering uh, that the company called DevScope um, have uh, released. And this is an extended version of what normally was known as the app, from within the app section here, called um, Power BI Tiles. So this one is still around, but Power BI Tiles are using more an, of an iframe approach to bring in your, your, your data to your PowerPoint. Whereas the smart shapes up here is a complete tool um, that I will walk you through right now. So let's start by adding some Power BI visuals. So if we click on the button up here, it will show you more or less the same as you just saw on the browser, meaning all my workspaces. So if I take my personal workspace up here, I have a dashboard section and a reporting section. So I can actually from here find specific um, reports, let's just make an example like this, which is the more Excel look and feel uh, approach to showing data. Um, so that's the reporting section. In this case, I'm going to take the dashboard items instead. So let's go down into the dashboard section and select the projects dashboard. I could actually just click here and take uh, the entire um, tiles available from within the, the, the complete projects dashboard. So if I go back, it will be the same as this one. But I don't need all these tiles in this case, just a few of them. Um, so I'm going to uh, drill down even further and select, let's take uh, total cost and benefits and ROI. Um, this one and this one, sorry. I'm also going to take this one. It already here shows you how it's going to, to look like uh, once it's being brought into um, your PowerPoint uh, deck. So once that is done, you can define if you want them all to be launched and put into the same uh, PowerPoint slide um, or if you want them to be spread across uh, one chart per slide. So let's just take that one. And for the record, you could also control the size of these chart elements that you're going to bring into your PowerPoint deck. So let's just hit Add Checked and wait a few seconds while it's loading. Now it's creating um, real picture items um, as you would be able to see right now. So if I click on these, it's a picture. So um, where it used to be in, in the previous version that DevScope did, it was an interactive um, iframe approach. So in this case, it's a picture. That mean, this means also that we can actually format the picture in case we wanted to give it different colors. We could use the artistic uh, ways of um, altering the, the picture. Or we could also select some of these up here, like I want a nice shadow like this, or I would like it to be tilted a little bit, or whatever it could be. It doesn't really matter, such as this one. So that's the way you bring your data. And you can actually also do this and move it around if in case you want to. And the same thing with that one. If you want to have that bigger, you could just size it up. It's fine, like this. And the same thing, you could do it down here, like this so whatever obviously normally you would add some headers and, and, and make it a, a bit more beautiful to look at but the point is once you've created your PowerPoint you can actually save it as I'm doing right now save it let's just save the presentation like this on my desktop and hit OK 
So the next time, if we just close PowerPoint, the next time we launch PowerPoint again, and select the same PowerPoint deck that we just created, which is here, then we still have the Power BI Smart Shapes up here. And this would be the place from where you can launch the refresh. So if I hit refresh now up here, it will take those three items that we decided to use and check whether or not data has been refreshed or changed since the last time. So if I hit the update check here, it will render or re-render actually the image items and show the latest version of the latest uh, edition of those components which it has done right now. And the way we can also be sure that this is the latest um, update is that the clock down here, 1412, matches 1412 right now on my PC. So it also shows when, when, the, when the data was updated the last time or the item itself, meaning the picture. So this is a very simple way to, um, to create your, um, your PowerPoint presentations and pull in data from, um, from the source directly or your Power BI dashboards. Um, DevScope uh, Power BI Smart Shapes comes with a price tag, um, which is not a lot actually. You can buy one license, five licenses, or 100 plus licenses. Um, and I would advise you to, to, to search for and, and find the, the, the solution yourselves. Um, so have fun using um, Power BI Smart Shapes and let me know through the blog if you have any questions. Thanks.